Next up, we have one of our previous guests and her plants. Hi, Liz. Hi, Ann. I was over at a friend's house the other day, and he has this gorgeous tall plant and gave me these cuttings, but I don't know what to do with them. Can you help me? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> First of all, I want to tell you that what you've got here is a black cardinal philodendron. That's beautiful. And they get to quite large leaves, mm -hmm. and they tend to grow pretty upright and tend to vine. Mm -hmm. So, what you can do is you can either root them in water, mm -hmm. like you are, yeah. or you can root them right in potting soil. That way they'll be used to being in soil immediately. They should take without any problem, and I can pot them up for you in just a few minutes. Oh, that'll be great. They'll save me the that? work of doing it later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's do that. Okay. So, what I've got here is a nice 8-inch clay pot mm -hmm. for them and a piece of osmunda bark that I'll put in the center okay. and that'll allow the plant you know, to grow up, give it something to hang on to, oh, which is something philodendrons really like to do. Uh -huh. So I'll get the potting soil mm -hmm. right here and we'll pour some in. All right. Yeah, just keep that in the center for me. Okay. And then if you want to help me pat it down kind of firmly in there. Okay. really that simple really and that quick wow. and then the next step I've got some root tone here mm-hmm and what you do you open it up it's a white powder it's actually a rooting powder and you take the plant you stick it right down in that powder and it's actually a hormone that'll help the plant root a little bit faster. Wow, it's like a growth hormone? Yeah, that's exactly right. Amazing. <laughs> Don't even have to go to the clinic for it. <laughs> so what you want to do then is to uh, take your finger and poke a hole down in the soil for mm -hmm. it and just push it in gently a few inches. Mm -hmm. You know, pat it around mm -hmm. and that's it. Wow. And I really think we look much more colorful today than we did then, don't you? Definitely, Liz. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you're here and you were able to bring the black cardinal philodendron with you. Mm -hmm. It looks great. Doesn't it's, it look good? It does. It's healthy. It's thriving. So what happened to the rest of it? Well, the sad fact is <laughs> that my family and I went away on vacation. And prior to leaving, we watered all of our plants thoroughly but it wasn't enough for the fresh cuttings in the soil and when we came back the other plants that we were trying to root in that pot had died however there was a shoot of the black cardinal that was still alive so we rescued it and stuck it in a jar of water until it rooted well and then we replanted it in some soil and as you can see it really took off and it, it's done wonderfully i've been really pleased with it it truly has um, oftentimes, when you're trying to root cuttings directly in soil, they do need to stay more on the moist side. Mm -hmm. And if they do dry out, that can be their demise. Yeah. So that is something to remember, although it sounds like you did your best here. And we've got this one mm -hmm. that's doing great. And philodendrons often root really well in water, as this is testimony to. Mm-hmm. Now, what kind of light are you keeping it in? Well, it's getting it's getting pretty pretty good light. Some of it is direct and some indirect. It's on a counter in between my dining room and kitchen, so it gets some direct light from a kitchen window and then some indirect from some sliding glass doors that we have in our dining room. So it's getting a fair amount of light. That's perfect, as you can see. And it looks to me like you've been fertilizing it, too. It's so robust. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I've tr been trying to fertilize my plants regularly. Uh-huh. Well, I think you're doing very well, and I consider this a success. I do, too. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome.